Hey guys, it's Billy, and we are talking about Taylor Holder once again because he really messed up by letting his former friends be the ones to come out and talk about what's going on with him right now. For the last week, if you guys did not see part one of my Taylor Holder video, then this is going to be quite confusing for you. But as if the situation isn't already confusing because there's not that much information going on, there's just a lot of talk about what's going on with Taylor Holder. People are still very curious as to what is going on with him, what's being said behind the scenes. There's been so many rumors of accusations being made against him, but nothing has been actually made public. And the only thing that he has come out and said publicly has been almost nothing, but that he wants to handle everything happening offline. Even though he decided to do a public interview last week where he was supposed to address the situation, but decided to be confused instead and share absolutely nothing. From the horse's mouth, like what is going on? You know, it, just like, you know, we are, we're all on the internet, man. We, we see how everything works. You know, cancel culture is a thing. Everyone talks, everyone gossips. At the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on offline that should continue to be handled offline and confuse the public even more. And honestly, that just made everybody way more curious about what's going on with him. The only person that he has really talked to besides BFF's podcast is Keemstar. Apparently him and his team are giving Keemstar like exclusive information, but Keem isn't allowed to actually say what the information is. As you all know, everybody's uh, unfollowing him, accusing him of allegations. We don't know what the allegations are. It hasn't been public, but I've talked to everyone and I know what the allegations are. And last night I had a like hour and a half conversation with Taylor Holder himself, which was off record, but I do want to talk a little bit about that. So basically I told Taylor Holder this, I go, listen, you got to come out. You got to make a statement. You got to explain what you're being accused of and accused of by who? Because if he doesn't, he's got no career. I mean, like, by the time he goes through the courts, but by the time he, like, fights this legally, his career's done and over with. So where am I at right now? I, I don't know who to believe in this situation, but after talking to Taylor Holder, it may be even more, like, neutral. He's been posting on his social media like normal, and allegedly he has sent out a number of cease and desist to other influencers, prohibiting them from talking about him or this alleged situation going on behind the scenes. What we're talking about today though, is what influencers have come out and said, despite legally being held back. And also we're talking about some false information that came out this week that needed to be corrected by Taylor Holder's friends or former friends. Jordan Jones, who has a podcast, she is one of the first ones to come out and actually give a little bit more information on what's going on. She spoke out in a recent episode saying that she heard from an influencer friend that she had about something going on with Taylor Holder and she was reached out to to see if you know she had experienced anything and explained that this kind of led her to unfollow him but she ended up cutting this part out of her podcast and I don't really want to play the clip because I feel like she cut this out because she got hit with a cease and desist letter I've had so many people reaching out to me and wanting to know what's going on and to be honest I don't think anyone knows what's going on I don't think he knows really the depth. I don't think anyone knows because a lot of people are, are also getting certain letters that say that they can't say things. And I haven't gotten one of those yet. So that's all I'm going to say. The reason why I unfollowed him, it's going, it's going down. It's crazy. But that's it for this episode. All the comments underneath this podcast episode are pretty upset at her for clickbaiting because it is titled Why I Unfollow Taylor Holder. It obviously looks like she didn't give a reason for unfollowing him because the part where she actually explained herself was cut out of the video which is pretty interesting. After Jordan came out and spoke about this, Bryce Hall came out and did a Q&A where he was asked what the heck is going on with Taylor Holder. And he said that he received a cease and desist, so he didn't know how much he was allowed to share, but he says he didn't want to be associated with Taylor anymore, so he unfollowed him. Hello said, what the f is going on with Taylor Holder? What can I say? I got a really important, like serious letter in my email box. It was a cease and desist. So I don't know how much I'm allowed to say before legal action is taken. I don't know. So as you guys know, there's um, allegations going around revolving Taylor. And personally, I just don't want to associate. So I'm following him on everything. I just don't want anyone to even know that we're associated or past associated. I haven't, I haven't talked to Taylor since the fight. We really aren't 
as close as it looks like on the internet. And um, with everything that's going on with him, I just 1000% don't want to associate. He also says that Taylor going on BFFs was super weird and he did not get a good feeling about that happening. The fact that Taylor's team or, or even Taylor reached out to the BFFs people to go on that podcast, push away all of the allegations on him and just kind of use it to promote his, his song that just came out gives me a weird feeling in my stomach. I guess legally I can't even really <laughs> speak on the matter, but but time will tell. That's all I'm gonna say. And he ends it by saying Taylor has more serious stuff to deal with than worrying about suing him. So it sounds like Bryce might know something about the situation. Did that go against my cease and desist? I think he has some more to deal with than, than worrying about suing me. And clearly he knew enough to believe the rumors going around that Taylor got arrested earlier this week. Now you guys, this is not true. It was some fake news that was going around on the internet, but for a day, people did think that Taylor Holder got arrested this week. There was a fake little police report that was going around. It was like a screenshot and it said Taylor Holder, 24, arrested. If you actually like paid money to try and look at the police report, it did not come up. It looked like it was on one of those like scam websites and so people were not going to pay money to like actually click and do that. But some people that did shared that they felt like it was fake. But since it was pretty confusing what was real and what wasn't, news just started to spread and the rumor got bigger and bigger and bigger. So a lot of people just ended up thinking it is fake. And then Keemstar, like I said, he was in contact with Taylor Holder this past week and he was able to confirm with Taylor that he was not arrested and posted this screenshot of them FaceTiming to show that he was at home and not arrested anywhere. But Josh Richards posted a video on his channel titled Taylor Holder Gets Arrested, where he sat down with Bryce and they talked about what the heck was happening. It was a part of his T Talk series and he says that this was an emergency press conference that they had to do they talked about Jordan Jones speaking on Taylor Holder and they did agree that she probably did end up with a cease and desist after this. Jordan Jones actually talked about why she unfollowed Taylor Holder. I've never done that. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's figure out what's going on. You think she got a cease and desist? I think she probably did. Any Energy got a cease and desist. <gasps> our company got a cease and desist. That's hilarious. We're going to start promoing on our <laughs> Annie Energy. Hey, drink Annie Annie Energy. Taylor Why Taylor Holder. Taylor. <laughs> they also did end up making jokes about Taylor getting arrested because they totally believed all of the rumors. It's just our slogan now. Drink Annie Energy and you won't get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> like Taylor Holder. <laughs> So people don't want to see Taylor winning, the police don't want to see him winning because he got arrested. 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 And then, of course, they had to make fun of how Taylor was acting when he went on BFFs to get interviewed because, of course, Josh is a part of BFFs podcast. Taylor came on the BFFs thing. I don't think we need to go over it again. Yeah. Because we've kind of talked about it. He came or on. Or just watch the podcast. Yeah, go watch the podcast. He said a bunch of nothing. You know, everyone says everything. Everyone talks. Everyone gossips. Everyone's saying everything. The funniest part I think about that podcast was that his PR team reached out to us to, like, to shut down everything. And he goes... Oh, really? I thought it was just because I've been talked about like so much recently. I and then the think. PR team literally texted right after and said, Hey, yeah, sorry. We do not know what was wrong with him. He knew he was coming on the whole time. Talking about BFFs, Taylor Holder sent 50 cease and desist letters to all of his BFFs. So. <laughs> that was a good one. Now, Josh ended up having to film another video right after this was posted because he needed to clarify that Taylor didn't actually get arrested. And I'm quite shocked that he wasn't legally asked to take the first video down, but he did go on camera to clarify that they got bad information. Me and Bryce filmed and uploaded the tea talk yesterday. We got all the news in the morning, went and filmed it. Later that day came out the Taylor Holder arrest was completely fake, not real at all. Sometimes T-Talk is wrong. Sometimes we get some information, it isn't right. We act on that information. Death Noodles did post, the arrest is fake. We get from someone, we report on it. That's on us. But that's the live update. We have nothing else as of uh, yet. Just wanted to make sure you guys kind of had an idea of what was going on. Obviously, as the news stays super hot, we're gonna be having to do live updates. Like so as of right now, no new info as to what is happening with Taylor is seemingly in the near future going to come out. I don't really know a lot about what is going on other than the fact that he has silenced a lot of his former friends and influencers and their companies. And honestly, from the sounds of it, most of them seem pretty ready to come out and talk very negatively about him and 
Once again, like I said in my last video, this is something that rarely does happen. Unfortunately, when allegations or something bad happens with an influencer, typically their friends do stand by them. I mean, James Charles had a lot of support after all that stuff came out about him. Sienna May had people stand by her. Tony Lopez had people standing by him. So this situation in particular has a lot of people wanting to know what the heck is going on if this many influencers are so just shocked by what's going on they want to unfollow him keemstar is obviously in contact with taylor and seems to know everything that's going on and that's the only person that is getting information from taylor but if anything does come up i will keep you guys updated i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys